If you've recently fired up a Microsoft Office document and discovered that all of your commands have disappeared, congratulations! Hooray! You've just discovered a new Office feature that happens to have a brand new shortcut that I'm recommending everybody learn. It's what I'm calling distraction-free mode. The shortcut works in Word for distraction-free writing. Watch the top of my screen. Close, open. The shortcut works in Excel for distraction-free modeling. Top of my screen. Close, open. And the shortcut works in PowerPoint for distraction-free sliding. Close. You can even hide your thumbnails here on the left in PowerPoint to open up even more space to work with. So this new shortcut eliminates all of that command clutter in your workspace, allowing you to get into what Carl Newport in his Wall Street Journal best-selling book simply calls deep work. That is, professional activities performed in a state of distraction-free concentration, which he basically explains in his book is the main difference between the high and low performers in today's modern world. So your brand new shortcut that I recommend jotting down is Control plus Shift plus F1. And I'll quickly show you how it works. Here in PowerPoint, to use the shortcut, simply hit Control Shift plus F1 on your keyboard. Control Shift F1 will close out of all of the command clutter at the top and bottom of my screen. Hit it again and they'll open up. So notice all these command options here at the bottom, Control Shift F1, they're gonna disappear. And you can even come over and open up more space by closing out of your thumbnails on the left. Now the cool thing about this shortcut is all of your ribbon guide shortcuts also work. So if I wanna quickly change my bullets, I can still use my ribbon guide shortcuts. But before I show you that, if you think you'll use this brand new distraction free shortcut now that you know it, please take a second and give this video a thumbs up here on YouTube. It's an easy click for you and lets me know what kind of stuff I should be adding to my channel. So to use my ribbon guide to change the bullets, I'll hit and let go of the alt key. You'll see the commands pop open, H for home, U for bullets, I'm not using my mouse, I'm just using my keyboard and I can just use my keys or arrow keys to choose any type of bullet type I want. I'll hit enter and you'll see those ribbon guides close back up again. At any point to get all of your commands back open, just hit Control Shift F1 and you're ready to rock and roll. So again, the new shortcut that I recommend learning is Control plus Shift plus F1 because it works across the entire Microsoft Office suite. If you want to learn a bunch more PowerPoint shortcuts like this, I'll include a link to a PDF cheat sheet of 120 shortcuts grouped by activity directly below this video. Shortcuts are one of the fastest ways to double your productivity in PowerPoint, which is why if you're interested, I would recommend snagging my PDF cheat sheet directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.